This is an introductory video into writing equilibrium constant expressions for reversible reactions. This video does not involve any problem solving. If you need to see videos on solving problems, you may want to watch the videos on chemical equilibrium problems. The first thing to do would be define law of mass action. The rate of reaction is proportional to the product of the concentration of the reactants each raised to the power equal to its coefficients as represented by a balanced chemical equation. That's for the forward reaction. For the backward reaction, in a reversible case, we can say the same thing about the products changing back to the reactants. And at equilibrium, you'll find that the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the backward reaction. Here is a general expression involving a general equation like A moles of A reacting with B moles of B, reversibly giving you C moles of C and D moles of D. If you write the equilibrium constant expression for this, its products over reactants would be C raised to lowercase c times D raised to lowercase d, that is product of the concentration of the products raised to their appropriate coefficients, divided by product of the concentration of the reactants A and B raised to the appropriate coefficients A and B. Or in short, we are simply writing the concentrations of the products to reactants raised to their appropriate coefficients. That's how we write an equilibrium constant expression. Sometimes the Kc is represented as Keq in certain books. They both mean the same. Here is an example for you for a reaction between hydrogen and iodine forming hydrogen iodide. If you write the equilibrium constant expression for this one, it looks like this. Hi, the whole square, divided by H2 into I2. The coefficients are 1 and 1, therefore we don't write any numbers. Let's look at another example. In this case, we will look at the reaction between nitrogen and hydrogen forming ammonia. This reaction uh, has an industrial basis. It's called the Haber process. If you write the equilibrium constant expression for this, it is ammonia raised to 2 divided by nitrogen raised to 1 into hydrogen raised to 3. More equilibrium constant expressions. Here in this reaction, we have PCl5 undergoing a decomposition to give you PCl3 and Cl2. The equilibrium constant expression would be PCl3 raised to 1 times Cl2 raised to 1 divided by the reactant, which is PCl5. The next we will look at heterogeneous equilibrium. In a heterogeneous equilibrium, we may have more than one phases, either in the reactants or the products. So here is a reaction for the decomposition of calcium carbonate to give you calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. You would notice that the macroscopic property that is going to be measured to determine the equilibrium state is the pressure of carbon dioxide in a closed system. Adding small amounts of calcium carbonate or calcium oxide will not change the pressure inside the container at the given temperature. For that reason, the solids in this reaction mixture, either in the reactants or products, it will not affect the equilibrium expression or the macroscopic property whose value we are measuring, in this case, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. For that reason, we write equilibrium constant expression in this case, we are looking at the partial pressure based equilibrium expression, which is Kp is equals to partial pressure of carbon dioxide, and the exponent is 1. Here are more examples of heterogeneous equilibrium reactions. Here we are looking at the double displacement reaction and the formation of barium sulfate from the reaction between barium ions and sulfate ion from two water-soluble ionic compounds. The equilibrium expression for this reaction can be written as Ksp is equal to 1 over Ba2 plus into SO4 2 minus. If you understand the concept of um, precipitation from saturated solutions, you would know that having excess of barium sulfate in the solution does not change the concentration of the ions. Because every time a precipitation occurs from its ionic solution, the solution above is saturated with respect to barium ions and sulfate ions. For that reason, Adding a small amount of barium sulfate to it will not increase the ionic concentrations of barium ions and sulfate ions. Hence, the equilibrium constant expression written in this case would be 1 over barium 2 positive into sulfate 2 negative. When we talk about solubility product expressions, we also will be talking about 
most of the insoluble compounds in water. Whenever you have a double displacement reaction, if you get a precipitate, it indicates that one of the compounds have low solubility. We used to call them insoluble, but when we are talking about solubility product, we, we prefer to call them as sparingly soluble salts, which implies that some of those insoluble compounds are actually soluble to a very small extent. So we write the reaction like this, in which the substance that has low solubility is written as a reactant, and ions that are formed when you have them in solution on the right side as products. So the expression that we write for equilibrium is called solubility product expression, or KSP, and it's written as product of the concentration of the products raised to the appropriate coefficients, in this case, Ba2 plus raised to 1 into SO4 2 minus raised to 1. Let's look at another example. Precipitation of iron hydroxide giving you Fe3 plus and 3 OH minus ions. So in an equilibrium mixture here, if you write the equilibrium constant expression, which you're going to call it as solubility product of KSP, it will be Fe3 plus the whole raised to 1 into 3 OH minus raised to 3. One more example. For the reaction uh, for the precipitation of PBI2, when you write the KSP expression for that, the solid that is formed is PBI2, reversibly giving you PB2 positive and 2I minus. And the KSP expression is going to be PB2 plus the whole raised to 1 into 2I minus raised to 2. That's how we can write the equilibrium constant expressions for reversible reactions, whether they are homogeneous equilibrium or heterogeneous equilibrium. If the reactants involve gases, we may also write an equilibrium expression called Kp, where we use the partial pressures. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.